Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. This is a special set of videos uh, whereby I take you from purchasing a, a, an Imperial Knight Titan all the way through to a finished product. And so this is the finished product. This is uh, what I talk about. Uh, I will be showing you out of the box how to get to this stage. Um, it does take a long time. Um, it it will take you a while to get it looking like this. I've said many times before and it's not me being, being humble, it's me being completely honest. I am not the world's best painter by any means whatsoever. I do wash my models, I do shadow, highlight, uh, you name it, uh, blend, I, I try, I'm open to everything, I don't weather so much, but I am not the world's best painter, but I do try and I do take my time and I do, I do have a, I'd say I'd have a, a nice attention to detail. You probably notice that I don't paint my models very similar to what's on the box, um, I try and put my own take to them. Uh, I look at some of the techniques and I apply them but um, I try and put my own little little twist on them all uh, which you will see the night titan that I am going to be showing you how to how to get to kind of like this stage he won't have the the gold trim he'll probably have a silver trim or a bronze trim because this is the paladin and he is the leader of the of, of my knight titan army My knight is going to be, is going to try and be in every shot. Um, that's on purpose to kind of give you inspiration and me inspiration to continue with the work and create them. I like to keep or have a the same model or similar model near me when I'm building and painting. Uh, you know, a, a, you know that that model. I think that it helps you with your inspiration. You can see that you've done it before and it helps you make little improvements, uh, changes and that's always a good thing if you come in into each model that is the same as you did before with no kind of you know physical uh, inspiration you, you may well end up with a, a very similar model and uh, if you can improve and tweak on the work you've done before that's always a good thing um, and it gives you a basis, uh, kind of like a measuring stick, um, for you for your new model. So he's going to be there in the background, watching over. Uh, I think you've seen my showcase video of him. He's in an okay pose. My second one is in a much better pose, and that kind of helps me, you know, make make my point that I made. Uh, in that they they do give you inspiration and it, they help you improve model making. So without further ado, this is one I picked up today. Uh, they are £85. It's a lot of money, yeah, but they're such a cool model. And you've got three of them, that's your army. Uh, so, um, you've probably seen the unboxing of, of both of these that I did, or, or one of these. I think I only unboxed one of them. So this is from start, start to finish. They come in one of these cardboard boxes. They've stopped uh, wrapping some of their newer boxes with the, the clean film so you don't get as, as sounds really sad, as box fresh smell as you, you normally used to. Um, but hey, that was part of the hobby and they, they don't do that now. Uh, so, opening the box, see all these sprues. I think there are just the three. Um, so you've got your carapace, your shoulder pads, 
uh, your engine exhaust vents and your carapace um, hatch. You got your you got your heavy stubber and you've got some purity seals dotted around the place. Then you've got this sprue here. So you've got your Reaper chainsword and your blast guards for the guns for the rapid fire battle cannon and the thermal cannon and you've got the weapons themselves so that's the the ends of them and then that's the battle cannon the actual uh, barrels of them then you've got this joint which is kind of like the hips area you've got like the the chest area um, or neck you've got the hood for the for the faces or helmets or uh, whatever you want to call them and you've got the, the back engine like vents and things so that's that sprue and then you've got the final sprue so there's only three sprues in here which is your legs mainly you've got your banner uh, so you can do freehand on that you've got your your chest plate with the that so you can write the name on it you've got your your hip joints for your legs and your groin shield and your uh, little right hand shield crest uh, you've got your your actual legs and the feet and then you've got your, your shin guards and the thigh guards and all the parts that you need for your for your legs and your kneecap um, guards so and you've got I think two more faces I mean that's your main one but that's another kind of mask so that's all the three sprues. Uh, you also get your base and your instructions and your Imperial Knight transfer sheet, which is larger than, than a normal transfer sheet. So move all them out of the way. i just uh, put these in some kind of order. So there you go, there are all your parts. You've got your instructions and your transfer over here on the right. You've got your carapace and your shoulders, you've got your weapon systems and then you've got your legs and your feet and your hip joints. Um, I This is a step-by-step -step guide of how to get a, a finished product, um, you know, fin finished painted. And re you've got to remember, this is just the way I do it. This is the way I've done it. Um, I'm a hobbyist. If you've made one of these already, this video might not be for you. But you might find some interest, some some of it interesting. You might enjoy it. It's always good to have something playing in the background anyway when you're painting a model. Uh, but well, I I find that that the case. So yeah, so in, enjoy this. Uh, hope you enjoy this um, part series where I take you from you know sprues to uh, an actual model, completely finished. Hope you enjoy it. So the first thing I like to do is concentrate on one sprue in particular. Uh, so for me. I, I like to create the legs first, so I'll create the legs and the feet and I'll, I'll actually put them on the base um, and then I'll move on to uh, the, the torso and the uh, shoulders and, and the actual body of, of the Night Titan and then finally I'll work on the arms and the weapon systems uh, and then I'll add little bits um, and settle for a pose. Uh, but you don't need, you don't have to glue everything, um, you know, at once. And unless you want to glue everything and then spray it and paint it, that's fine. But you might have some problems later on. Uh, it, for this particular model, I really would suggest subassembly. Uh, so you make parts of the model, and you make other parts, and then you spray them separately, and then you paint them all, and then you put them back together at the end. I strongly advise you do that. You may even think about magnets, um, but I don't really deal with many magnets too much, um, so my models aren't magnetised, but you'll, you'll understand when we get to those steps and why I do them and all the rest. So join me, uh, this is kind of like an introductory and an unboxing and a bit of a talk about the intro of, of this like mini series. Join. I'm going to try and release them every day rather than one every week because I think that's just too long so you can join me every evening 
Um, I mean, obviously this this is shot a while back, but you can join me every evening on my YouTube channel, and uh, if you've got the time, um, or just catch up at the weekend, and watch me go through my processes to get the my my miniature finished miniature. The next step, uh, so join join me in the next part where I will be assembling the legs and some of the body. I'll be heavily editing them, so they're not just going to be live. And I'm just going to slap them on YouTube. I will edit them and and go through my processes and um, stages, uh, and then I'll go through the the other the other parts that I've mentioned. So join me in part two.